expression had lips, it would still say, holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? If anxiety had a tongue, if anxiety had a tongue, it would still stutter in all of its ramblings and say, ain't God good? We praise him because he's worthy. This blood in our body is redeemed by a God who shed his own on our behalf. So with my heart beat, I'll say he's worthy. And even if God doesn't heal, will you still bless him? If the only time the depression leaves your body is when your soul leaves this earth, can you still say he's good? Because when heaven opens, depression can't come. When he calls your name, when he calls your name, anxiety ain't going to know what to do without you because you are healed and you are whole. Hello, people. So for my poem, I am going to need audience participation. So I would love for you guys to give me an object and a color. What's my color? Purple. Purple. Object? Crown. Crown. Beautiful. When I was born, my mother's voice was purple. She was the first kingdom I was ever a citizen in, and it was glorious. Jules, tell me, do you think I'm beautiful, Father? Do you think I am something that is royalty? I know you got me out the slums, but you spray painted this heart in your mercy and your grace. You made me royalty, and my royalty, Father. And to see that he is good, and no good thing will he withhold. And what a good gift this is, that our fear must take a knee to this king, this king. This king who breathes life into dry bones can resurrect your decaying hope. This God who wraps himself in flesh is able to redeem your skin for his glory. That this God who cast his stars like maps can send his spirit to be your comfort and send his peace to give you rest. Now I know you know fear. I know grief and shame sit in your worship that your praise is pain stained. But I know you know Jehovah, Jireh, the Alpha, the Omega. I know the middle part gets real good. But lift your heads and be sure of this, that your God is the God who provides. He has made provision for you to have direct access to himself. Now Jehovah, Jehovah still go hold heaven at attention. But this time, he's pouring his spirit onto our flesh. We sing to a deliverer. Yeah. And you know our pastor. Our pastor said that our God delivered Daniel out the lion's den. Yeah. Jonah out the belly of the fish, David from the hand of Saul, the Hebrew boys from a fiery furnace, the Israelites yeah. from the hand of Pharaoh, so why not us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When will it be us? Yeah. I see, I see why the grand folk pray the way they do, like we've been had angels marching with us, yeah. with justice yeah. at their right hand and a sword of fire at their left. So God, yeah. we gon' hold steady on you, yeah. and you have got to see us through. We traded in shackles for your name. You are deliverer. You ransomed the captive, not your soul, but our bodies. I never thought to ask him if he wanted my love. I assumed because my affection was homegrown, thick and sweet, he ought to be thankful. I know better now. I won't be putting all my time where it ain't invited. I'm teaching my affection not to overstay her welcome. I've got no business offering a plate of my love to a man who's already eaten. So, before I go mentioning your name in my prayer closet, before I heat this homegrown love on the skillet, are you hungry? And not the circumstance they gave word flesh only to feel it tearing gave him a heart only to watch it shatter gave him veins only to witness them confess every breath of life until there's nothing left but a body a whisper of deity high priest so lowly silver tongue devil wrap round lips a friend to bruise his heel what better way to betray a god than to offer him lip service breath still hot with last supper wine hands still cruddy from broken bread of embodied god trade him in for a silver studded hollow soul i guess christ wasn't the only one preparing to trade in a body this eve her seed will drink iniquity's cup i believe that love love is a death sentence where else does your freedom go willingly allow itself to melt into chains and somehow my heart is now a bondage to yours. So when you cut, I bleed. When a smile meets your face, the curtain of my lips also pulls in a moment of joy. So I believe that, I believe that love is a death sentence. And if this is true, 
Give my condolences to your past. It must be grief to live without you, so come. Come here and watch me turn this casket into a home. Allow me to take your imperfections, frame them on a wall, and let you know that you will always be beautiful. Her words. Her words held my family as if we were already shattered pieces. Her mouth. Her mouth was a resting place of a feather blade and it shattered what was left of us. The nurse told us that sometimes a person requires permission before they can allow themselves to lean into the cold arms of forever waiting for them. She told us it's common for them to reserve their last breath until their loved ones have left the room. She encouraged us to tell you that it was okay for you to leave. So now my morning routine once consisting of coffee and music, now includes me telling you that it's okay for you to abandon us here. I know that my lips were cinder blocks on your fragile brow. I'm sorry if that was too much weight for you. Getting lost at your doorstep. Don't let him call you crazy. Call you emotional. Say it ain't that deep. Tell him this goes way deeper and your mother already taught you that you are the second best guardian of your heart. Keep your standards and your head held high. I know there are plenty of fish in the sea, but darling, you are worth drowning for. <laughs>